Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty small haul for you all. I went to Plato's Closet and I also went to ThriftCon. So I didn't do a whole lot of thrifting this week, not gonna lie, I have a lot of stuff in my death pile that I'm trying to get rid of and a lot of personal things I'm trying to get rid of. I feel like it seems like I'm constantly getting rid of my stuff. I'm not gonna lie, back in college and high school, I used to spend a lot of money on shopping and I've had a really hard time letting go of those items. So that's kind of what I've been working on getting rid of recently. I got rid of a ton of makeup. So I'm trying to like downsize my life a little bit. I read this book, I wish I could remember the name of it, but basically it said, you're paying rent for the things that you own to be in your house. And that really like resonated with me because I don't want all this junk to take up space and I'm gonna have to eventually move to a bigger house because of all this garbage I have. So I'm trying to downsize my stuff get rid of a lot of it, yet yeah, here I am with a haul where I'm like keeping one or two things for myself. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's why I got into reselling, which perfect segue. If you're new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. I do this on top of my eight to five desk job and I love it. Like I said, I used to love to shop for myself all the time and now this is a really great profitable way for me to still shop but not keep it all for myself, you know? If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, subscribe. It helps my videos out a ton when you interact with it, so I appreciate it. But, okay, getting on with it. So, like I said, I went to ThriftCon, which is like a huge thrifting convention. Uh, I know like a couple of years ago they came to Denver and it's basically a bunch of pop-up shops, like kind of a, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like a bunch of different shops that get set up by different resellers and you can go to the different booths and shop their items. I would really love to do that one year. If you've ever done it before, let me know what your experience was or even doing any type of pop-up boutique or whatever. I think it'd be a lot of fun and a really good way to get rid of inventory. So I actually paid for the one item I got with Venmo and you can actually see this person's Venmo transactions and if you need like inspiration or whatever, let me tell you, this guy had a transaction every two to five minutes. And that's just on Venmo. He was also taking cash and Apple Pay as well. It seems like it would be a really lucrative way to get rid of a lot of inventory. And some of the things that I saw you guys were like kind of gross. Like I'm talking like old stained t-shirts, ratty sweaters, like really, really, like the stuff that I would never even think to buy at the bins, like plain Hanes white t-shirts with stains all over. These people were selling for five bucks. Anyway, I might be setting up a booth at some point. I don't know, we'll see. It looks like a lot of fun, but I hear it's also expensive. Okay, onto the thing I bought from ThriftCon. So the only thing I wanted on my way in, literally the only thing on my wish list was a Husky sweater, which like, what are the freaking odds that I actually found this gem of a piece. If you don't know, I have a Husky. He looks nothing like this. He's all white, but I had to have it. And I've been wanting something like this. He wanted $25 for it, which you know what? It's fine. The graphic is a little bit like crinkled and chipping, I guess. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. When I asked him where he got it from, he said the racks, which is apparently what the cool kids call Goodwill. I did not know that, so he got it from the racks. Gotta love it though, reselling, supporting resellers, am I right? So at Plato's Closet, I spent $93, which I think is the most I've ever spent there, and I got six items, so about $15 a piece. For me, that is most definitely paying up for stuff. Yeah, you won't usually catch me doing that. So the first thing I got was from Blank NYC. That is what the logo looks like. I know a lot of people have kind of given up on this brand, but this was way too cute for me to not pick up. And so it's this sh like faux leather jacket with like fringe detail in the pockets. And these jackets I see people wearing everywhere. I do kind of wish it didn't have the fringe. I think that might have made it a little bit more like classic and timeless and more people would be willing to buy it but I do still think it's really cute. It's got an oversized fit. This originally retailed for $98 and I saw people reselling this for about 75 to $80 on Poshmark. I'll be honest, there weren't a whole lot of comps on this so it might've been a gamble or it's just new enough that people aren't selling it yet. I don't really know, but I'm hoping I'll get 60 to $70 for this. That would be amazing and it's so cute. Like I would totally, <laughs> wear this if it was my size. It's just like a tad bit too big. And when I'm paying up, honestly, anything more than like $8, which I know sounds crazy, I will research the crap out of it because 
I refuse to lose money. Like, I don't think I've lost money on anything yet, like major money, like at the bins. Yes, I've probably lost money on a couple of things, but overall, I refuse. I really researched that. There weren't a whole lot of comps, so I felt good about it because if there were a ton of listings and no solds, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Okay, so these are a pair of Madewell shorts. These are really cute. Uh, they're size 25, but I will say these kind of run big. I tried these on. They're the relaxed denim short. Usually I'm a size true 27, and these were kind of big on me, but I think I think I'm going to list these and if I don't, I think I'm going to sell a pair of Levi shorts that I have in my closet instead of these because uh, I kind of like the wash of these a lot and they were really comfy. So these were $11. They're mislabeled as Abercrombie shorts. So I think normally Plato's Closet would have been selling these for like $18.20 but for some reason someone thought these were Abercrombie so they were priced lower than that. Shorts are starting to sell for me, not really fast, but I recently sold a pair of Levi's last week. So, you know, it's definitely time to start picking up warmer weather stuff rather than cold weather stuff. So I've been trying to avoid sweaters as much as possible, but jeans are still selling. So there's that. Okay, this is something I actually bought for myself. If you've been around long enough, you know I went through like a Gymshark obsession. I actually really don't like Gymshark leggings for working out in and I sold almost all of the pairs I bought for myself, but I found these and these are so cool and unique that I bought these for my like work from home life. They have like cuffs at the ankles. They're more of like a jogger style and I've never seen anything like this before, but they were just so comfy. Great for walking the dogs in. They were $22. So I got them. I'm really curious to know what the comps for these would be. Probably not much. Like honestly, my Gymshark is just sitting in my closet and kind of rotting away. I have, I think two or three pairs of leggings from Gymshark and nothing. Like they'll get tons of likes, but nobody will accept my offers on them, even though I'm sending really aggressive offers. So I don't really love to sell Gymshark anymore. I'm not gonna lie. The best part about this haul, in my opinion, are the shoes. So the first pair of shoes I got are these Good American wedge sandals. They have like this really interesting lug sole, but they're like an espadrille style with a square toe. I don't know. I paid $15 for these because they're good American. They are unfortunately on the Nordstrom Rack website still and I didn't notice until after I got home and really researched these. They're selling for I think $80 on Nordstrom Rack's website, but the comps for them on Poshmark were like $70 to $80. So that's what I'm really hoping I get for these because I don't think anyone's ever worn them. They look like they're brand new. So I'm gonna list these for $80 and see how they do. I've never found good American shoes before, but their jeans are amazing. They sell really, really fast. Next up, funny story about these. So these are Puma X Fenty, like platform sandals. Really interesting. I think they're so fun. They're size seven, which is a great size. Uh, I think the average shoe size is eight. I've been really trying to avoid picking up small shoes because they just don't sell for me. So yeah, anyway, I initially came across those shoes. And my hands were really full. So I took out my phone to look up comps and I kind of turned away. And as I'm turned away looking at comps, a girl comes up and grabs the shoes. And I was like, what are the odds? Like, I don't know if she saw me looking up comps or what and was like, oh, I want to see what these are because she was really close to me. I got really sad because the comps were around 50 for those and I only paid 10. They're only 10 bucks. And so, you know, I will gladly flip something that's 10 bucks for 50. Um, so yeah, I was like really sad about it. And I spent the rest of my time there just kind of like looking at the shoes to see if she ever put them back and she didn't. And so I go to the checkout and I'm still thinking about the shoes. Like I was seriously thinking about these shoes the entire time. And lo and behold, they're behind the counter in a go back spin. So she must have changed her mind like last minute or something like that. And I ended up getting them. So I was so pumped. That definitely would have been something that I would think about a lot if she hadn't put it back. So I was happy about it. All right, last but not least, these shoes are so gorgeous. They're Jeffrey Campbell lace up shoes. The style on these is called the Corwin. They're size six and a half. So a little bit on the smaller side, but not too bad. Uh, they have a nice heel. They zip up in the back and they lace up in the front. I love this. I think these are so cute. I think these will sell pretty fast. Jeffrey Campbell always does really, really well for me. 
I did pay up a tiny bit for these. I only paid $13 for these, which isn't bad at all. I think these will probably sell for anywhere from like 60 to $80. I really don't mind paying up for some stuff at Plato's Closet because they kind of do the work for you. Like they already take all the cute stuff and anytime I buy stuff from there, it tends to sell really, really fast. So if you have any type of consignment store nearby you, I definitely recommend checking it out. It saves a lot of time, but I will say there have been times recently where I went in and left empty handed because sometimes their prices can be a little high for what you're getting. So since this video is so short, I wanna do a best sale of the week because it's been a little while since I've done that. I don't wanna do worst sale of the week because whatever, I, I just would rather talk about the best sale of the week. So the best sale of the week was actually a Plato's Closet find, which is so appropriate for this video. It was a Anthropology Hutch New with Tags blouse. In that haul, I said I thought I was gonna keep the blouse. It was just a little too big for me. It kept falling off the shoulders. And unless I really love something lately, I try not to keep it. So I listed it and of course within like four or five days it sold. I really wanted 80 for this shirt but somebody offered me 55 and I took it because like I said I paid 15 for it so I still made about $30 after the fees which is great. I know a lot of people say that anthropology doesn't really sell for them anymore. I think it totally depends on the style. Again Plato's Closet does a lot of the guessing work for you. They're really on top of it with trends and things like that. Sometimes you'll see something and you're like what the hell is that but for the most part they're kind of decent. So yeah, I was really excited about that sale because I was a little afraid it would never sell and $15 is more than what I'm usually willing to spend on something. So I was very happy with that sale. And now I can take that money and buy something that I actually really love. Okay, well that was my whole haul for the week. I know it wasn't super exciting, but a girl's gotta get through her death pile first before she thrifts. If you like this video again, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.